Good evening and welcome to Progress Diary, where we keep tabs on activities of Nigeria's governing party, the All Progressives Congress. I am Habida Lawal. Now, leaders of the All Progressives Congress in Edo State may have buried the hatchet, and all is not said for the conduct of the governorship election in the state. They were in the presidential villa to meet President Bola Chinubu and also present the party's candidate to the president. They were led by the APC National Chairman Abdullah Ganduje and also had in attendance Senator Adams Oshomole and all the party chieftains from Edo State. President Bola Tinubu encouraged them to stay united and get victory at the polls. Are you? If you are, we are determined. We are going to work with you. We are going to stay with you like rock of Gibraltar. That's all I can show you. The party is supreme. But victory is superior. And very, very important. The leadership from Edo who are here, they've seen politics, particularly in the heat of things before you guys matured into the arena. But you've proved yourself. As people we can trust, and people we can fight for. Adam, Sir. are we doing well? Very well. Are you sure? We are grateful. We are, we are good to go. Thank you very much. <laughs> we are good to go. Yes, we are good to win. They are the largest number of voters, the most dedicated, more reliable. You have to treat them fairly and well. We have our deputy now. We, have, we are setting the ball rolling. Sky is our limit. Now it's time to say bye-bye to PDP in Edo. And development, Edo, new Edo is rising. Um, if you look at my history, even the governor, what I've done it for Edo people, the governor have not done it for eight years. I've been providing free transportation for Edo Central people, where I came from, creating boreholes for our communities, providing for securities, a lot, providing scholarship for school children. So the record I have, the, the, the governor cannot, has not been able to achieve it for eight years as a governor. So this is a clear indication that my coming is even a threat. They were praying that I should not win election in this primary. But our president, he, he, he demonstrated that he's a Democrat and allow free and fair election, the Edo people speak. So, 20, or September 21st also, Edo people will speak. We are ready to take over Edo State. Now, the forum of APC State Chairman were in the presidential villa to meet President Bola Tinubu. They pledged their support and commitment to ensuring a total implementation of the Renewed Hope Agenda. The chairman also urged President Bola Tinubu to hold government officers accountable and ensure they properly execute government policies, plans and programs. It is not an admittance of failure in a government of four good years. Nine months is too early to call on an assessment, but if you must do, then you must understand that, yes, we admit that we are one government, but when you have a government managed by two different individuals, the idiosyncrasies, 
the approaches to matters. You cannot judge Peter by the standard of the action of Paul. Mr. President should be judged by his own actions. We have all agreed in this country that Mr. President came to meet a problem that was on ground. It is not whether issue of party, it's not issue of this or that, but he has said he wants to solve the problem and is on course. We commended his economic policies. If wealth subsidy was not removed, like we told Mr. President today, our economy would have been thrown into a catacomb of oblivion. And it is understood by every discerning mind that this country was on a reverse gear to retrogression, but Mr. President has redirected our focus. And to answer the last question on the constitutional issue, we are here as district political officers in the subnational, and we come as those that control the political architect and parachute in the states. So we will want to fly with Mr. President. Mr. President himself has committed that whatever that is good, that is needed to be done for this country to move forward, he will do it. Every constitutional realignment and amendment that will be for the betterment of this country, we can here assure you and be rest assured that we'll go back through our state houses of assembly, working with our governors, working across party lines to making sure that Nigeria and whatever support they have given to Mr. President. And I can assure you, we will do just that. I sat down with the APC National Deputy Chairman South, Ima Enuku, to talk about developments in the party. Take a listen. Hello and welcome to the interview segment of Progress Diary. Today I'll be talking with the National Deputy Chairman South of the All Progressives Congress in person of Honorable Ima Enuku. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. So, sir, it seems um, your party has finally settled issues with um, Edo State um, Primary and um, a consensus seems to have been reached as well with regards to the other um, faction, so to say. And um, do you think this is enough for APC to um, sweep Edo State in uh, September? Political party is all about management of interests. And people who had come to contest elections or, con or contest nominations want to control the apparatus of government and it is not a tea party. People come there with the hope to win. Nobody that comes to aspire had come to lose. So they come with every air of, uh, or every air of plan on the ground to win. And when they don't win, they, it's not easy to, to, uh, to calm their nerves or rather to, to get them to agree to the proposals of the party. But the work of the political party is to make sure that these individuals agree. The political party is, our main job is to win elections. And if our members are disagreeing, it may, it may, it may, it may affect our, the ability of the party to have an overwhelming victory, even to have victory at all. So we do everything humanly possible to get all the parties to agree and go as a united front. And it is not always an easy task because individuals have differences. Uh -huh. So, uh, but in a do state, yes, just like any other state, uh, the contention were very high, but thank God, the national chairman of a great party in his wisdom and the intervention of the leaders of the party, including the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who is the leader of the party. Everybody, they had to put their heads together to make sure that we sort out this issue. And the combination we arrived at at the end of the day 
is a beautiful combination that that it is very basic that they are going to win the Edo governorship election. Uh, uh, when you check the indices they have on the ground, it is almost certain that we are going to win the election. The issue of contention in the party is prevalent in all the political parties. Uh -huh. There's no party will tell you that will tell you that it is easy. But I thank God that we have the ability to ability to make sure that we resolve this crisis and bring everybody together. And I can, I can always assure you that we have a united house now. Now, if we are going um, deeper into um, the matter of um, Edo State, I would also like to ask um, the agreements that were, that were reached, um, championed by the chairman of the party. Do you think it is enough or was it done in, um, in, in um, accordance with all involved, bearing in mind that there were lots of aspirants that indicated interest to participate in that primary and these are big wigs in the party in Edo State. Was this um, properly done? Were they all carried along? And you think the APC is going to face the election with, with I, the United I, uh, You know, people that indicated their interest to run for governorship in Edo State, I think we had about 12 of them that collected nomination forms. The seat of governor is one. The seat of deputy governor is one. And when, this pe when people have this at the back of their mind, it will help to resolve whatever challenge we have. The major contenders are the, the person that won the primaries, that is uh, Senator Pueblo, uh, and the Dahosa came second. Presumably, that's what I have. So the others, would, we would have first of all to start with the person that won, the second person. We are still on the table with the others. And we know that we will resolve everything. We will resolve everything. But the major thing is that the case was, uh, Dahosa was contending that he won the primaries because of what transpired initially. But thank God that wisdom prevailed. And now that, that two of them had agreed to work together as governor and deputy. And that's the best we can get. The other ones, the party will talk to them. The party is a family. We are a family. Everybody is supposed to collapse into the decision of the party. And that decision, except you are not, it's just like a family where you have children. No matter the differences they have in the family, once the father and the mother bring up the, their children together and they agree, everybody should, it should be carried. Though there are usually some stubborn children that may not agree, but any family that has the, his onions will be able to bring his children together. And that's what we are doing. Uh, the, the, at the end of the day, when the election is held in Edo, you will see the result of what the, the party had done, especially the leadership, our national chairman, the president of the Federal Republic, and all that, cons uh, that are concerned in making sure in the resolution of that crisis. Now, sir, the president met with um, the state chairman of the party recently. And uh, after the meeting, it, it was said that um, he told them not to, to contribute their quota, not to wait until appointments are given. Of course, this is probably not only for the state chairman, but some certain stakeholders in the party who have um, felt aggrieved in one way or the other about um, appointment so far by the President Tinubu's administration. And um, over the years, it has been said from the last administration that um, the APC reward system has not been um, all that um, um, promising, so to say, where, where people have felt that they worked for the party and were not um, given a chance to hone their skills for, for the administration. Do you think these two, um, these two scenarios can be married together? We have, the president said they should contribute their quota while not expecting anything, while some people feel that um, the reward system of the party well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that's what the president meant. I wouldn't think the president was saying that they would not get anything that they should contribute. Should, of course, you must know that APC is in government. And the state chairman, they are one of the, the basic background, or rather the, the, the superstructure of APC. 
They are everybody, including our, us. We are all hands are supposed to be on deck. It's not only president that is governing this country. This is APC government, and therefore it is expected of us to assist him in whatever way we can. And that's what president means when he said that they should help to see that we, we resuscitate the economy of this country, that we get everything on, on the proper footing. Uh, it doesn't mean that if somebody fits into a position, they will not give to him. So we, we are aware and, uh, that the president is not resting on his hours because he made a very terrible economy. And you must know that across the world, the economy is not very good. And it will need somebody like President uh, Bolame Tinibu to see how to turn the tide around. And in turning it around, they cannot be only him alone. He can only give directives. And if you don't have good lieutenants, you can't make any headway. So he needs everybody, the state chairman, the national leaders, the stakeholders, all members of APC must be involved in helping the president to revive the economy and turn the tide of this country around. And I'm sure that with the way he is going, it will not take long. We'll get the dividends and benefits of what, of, of, of what, what he's doing. He, he, has a, he has a direction, he has a vision of what, of what he wants to achieve, and he will get there by the grace of God. Recently, there have been, a, we are going to your region proper now. Recently, there have been a, talks about um, what the incident in the National Assembly which is um, obviously chaired by um, Senator Goswil Akpabio, who is from the South and also a member of the APC. A lot of people have been calling for his head with um, the recent um, budget um, meddlesome um, incident. Would you, would you say that um, the South has not been, um, has, or has been duly represented or has not been given um, proper representation in this administration? The South. The South has been given proper representation. The South has been given proper representation. You see, what I see with the administration and with the head of with the president is that he does he looks more at people that are that um that have that have people that have merit, people that are that have the credibility to offer, that has something to offer in an office. Uh, this idea of uh, trying to balance, you bring in people that you bring repugnant com uh, concepts that are repugnant, that are not. Uh, uh. President tries to bring people that are fitted into positions, not minding, not, not minding the region you are coming from. Considering the situation we find ourselves in the country, he's looking for people he could trust that can turn the situation around for him. Because always resorting to uh, resorting to uh, trying to balance, make sure that it is the north, is the south, is the this and is that. He may not be able to account for the proper person that will give him what he desires to turn the turn things around. So I think that is why uh, most of the positions he gives to people he believes that I can deliver. But I think, my own estimation, the south is represented. Lastly. The present security situation in the country, would you say the APC administration under President Bola Tinubu is tackling it as it should? Security, the, the security administration in the whole world is terrible now. And Nigeria is not an exception. And uh, what is causing it, whenever the, whenever the economy of, the, of a country or whatever is bad, it affects the individuals. Because the, there's this adage that People, a hungry man is an angry man. So when people cannot find food to eat, they resort to negative ways to look for the food. And it, that, it, it increases the incidence of uh, crime in the society. The, the, the APC administration unfortunately met the situation at, like now. And I am sure we are doing everything to change the situation. The, uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is putting on hands on deck to make sure that the security of the country is, is improved. We have saboteurs, we have people who are trying to bring down the government. And they are encouraging all this, all this uh, banditry, terrorism, and the rest of them, so that bad name will be given to the government. But I am aware that the government is doing everything humanly possible to make sure that we bring the security situation to a, situation, uh, to a level that people can sleep with their eye, two eyes closed.
Thank you very much, sir. Thank a very welcome. good place to land it. Thank, Thank you. you. I've welcome. been speaking with Honorable Ima Enuku, the National Deputy Chairman South of the All Progressives Congress. Stay with Progress Diary. We'll be right back. And that is all on the program this week. Do remember that we will always give you the latest news and information on the All Progressives Congress under the leadership of Dr. Abdullah Gadnuji. Thank you for watching. I am Habida Lawal. See you next week.